The next batch of your questions on the Pocket 6K Pro that we're going to answer is on lenses, autofocus, and those brand new ND filters. Now we had a lot of questions on the ND filters in particular, as of course they're one of the main new features of the Pocket 6K Pro. Now this is the first time Blackmagic have introduced a motorized ND filter mechanism on one of their cameras. And it's the first time they've put NDs at all in a camera that is this small. The levels you get are clear, two stops, four stops, and six stops. So not quite up to the 10 stops of ND that you can get with some other cameras, but that is the same amount of levels as you get on their larger Ursa Mini Pro. Now, Blackmagic say these ND filters have an infrared cut built into them, but as you can see from our tests here, it doesn't seem to be quite strong enough to completely eliminate any color cast when you go up to those higher levels of ND, as the image does definitely shift towards magenta. These tests are outside, lit by direct sunlight, and we've included the Tiffin Variable ND filter set to six stops of ND right there on the right for reference. Now most of this color tint you can see here could be removed by doing a fresh custom white balance with one of these X-ray charts, but because it's IR pollution rather than an ordinary color cast, you might well still see some color shifts on some black fabrics even after doing a fresh white balance. We also got a question about whether or not you could change these NDs while recording and what it looks like. And yes, yes you can, and it looks like this. This is very similar to most other motorized ND systems. The only in-camera ND system that really looks any good at all when you're changing it is Sony's Electronic Variable ND, which works in a completely different way to this one. Also, before we move on from the ND filters, it's worth pointing out the placement of these. These are right here on the back of the camera. The controls are the plus and minus buttons. This is where your thumb sits when holding it handheld. And I love this placement. It makes them very easy to use and adjust quickly on the go. So yes, the ND system isn't perfect at all. It doesn't cut anywhere near enough IR really, but it is still a very welcome addition and a very useful tool to have built into your camera. The camera uses EF mount just like the original Pocket 6K. And lots of people were asking about RF mount, and I agree, that would be a fantastic addition for Blackmagic to make. But I think for this camera, it's just asking one step too far, unfortunately. I and mean, this is a pro variant of the Pocket 6K. It's not a whole new camera design. Changing to RF mount would have been a huge deal. Changing the design of the camera and adding much more cost and complexity to them when they were building that ND system. And we do need to remember that for a camera at the price point of the pocket cinema cameras, we're only going to be able to expect Blackmagic to be able to cram in so much. On a similar kind of note is autofocus. And we were actually quite surprised at the amount of questions that we received about the autofocus performance of the Pocket 6K Pro. But I suppose in Blackmagic's official specs, it does simply just say autofocus is available when using compatible lenses. I mean, it's not exactly specific. But for those wondering, there is no improvement in autofocus here over the original Pocket 6K. And it does have autofocus, it's just one shot, not continuous and it's a simple contrast-based system. You activate it by holding your finger on the subject you want in focus on the touchscreen on the back, and it will focus on it. It does seem reasonably accurate, and it's not exactly quick to respond though, and it is sometimes very twitchy when finding focus. But it is useful as a one-push system though, especially when you're using them in a multi-camera situation where the cameras aren't necessarily manned, like when you're using their ATA mini switches, for example. And with those, you can actually control the focus from the connected computer software. And because of the EF mount, autofocus lenses are easy to come by. Always keep in mind when you're choosing lenses though, that this is a 6K high resolution sensor. But that does work out at just under 20 megapixels of resolution when you talk about photographic terms. So realistically, most decent lenses, particularly stills lenses, should be perfectly fine and cover that no problem. But it's worth remembering, if you want the best out of this camera and the best out of its sensor, you're definitely going to want to be using modern lenses of a decent quality. Now, Canon, of course, have a fantastic range of L series lenses, and these work brilliantly with the Pocket 6K Pro. 
And there's also their Super 35 millimeter zoom. It's not L series, it's the 17 to 55 millimeter F 2.8 IS. And that is a great pair for this camera because it's fast, it's a decent zoom range, and it has image stabilization. It's getting on a bit now, but it's still a fantastic lens. But perhaps the most popular lens though is this Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter F 1.8. Now this doesn't have image stabilization, which is very useful to have on these cameras, but it is affordably priced, it's fantastic quality, and it opens up all the way to f1.8. So it's understandably a very, very popular choice. The camera really shines though, when you're pairing it with cinema style lenses, because the EF mount now has a huge range of fantastic cinema lenses all at a different price point. I mean, there's the Zeiss CP3s, the Sigma Cinema range, like this fantastic cinema version of their 18 to 35 millimeter. There's the Canon CNE primes, and then more affordable options like the Samyang Zines and DZO Film Vespid lenses, and even these little VDSLR lenses to keep the cost down. There's so many great choices out there for EF mount. So although something like RF would have been great to see because of how easily adaptable it is. EF is still very much the mount with the widest selection of lens options out there. So that's it for lenses, autofocus and ND filters. And in the next videos in this little series, we're going to be moving on to monitoring and recording modes. So watch out for those. And if you want to buy a Pocket 6K Pro for yourself or any of the other products we've mentioned here in this video, just head over to proev.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.